Otis Sr., who's played by Keith David, a hero of mine and a legend. He's not somebody we meet a lot, but we feel the effects of his absence. Pops? Lucky. Pops. 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 And he's meant to have been somebody who had the discipline of OJ, but also the charisma and spark of Emerald. Tilt down a little bit, K2, and a little bit to the right. Oh, not that much, not that much. And there, that's it. Hey, OJ. When you see the dog, your partner was expecting your dad to walk me out to Put a little more blood on him. Without him there, it's almost like we need both pieces of that puzzle in order to carry on the legacy of Haywood. OJ is lost in the dogma of his father's training and just his sole goal being to perpetuate his father's business. It's a film about orphans. OJ seems rudderless to a certain extent. And cut. Cut, cut. Great. Moving on. Moving on, guys. And Emerald, on the other side of the coin, is someone who is in a constant state of trying to reinvent, trying to be seen. Great. Trying to grow beyond the isolation of her upbringing. 